I am a wild turkey, I am a wild turkey. Vanya, mwah, mwah. dearest Sonia, how I've missed you. Um, I have been a, a member of Denver Center since, well, 2005. My first show at Denver Center was in 1992. Hi, hi. I'm Leslie Shires. I'm an army brat. I'm mostly from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, I'm Kathleen McCall. I play Masha here, but I am originally from Colorado. I grew up in Castle Rock and went to Douglas County High School. What's the matter with you? One factor of the play that makes it so popular is that it speaks very clearly to uh, baby boom generation. <laughs> Uh, and baby boomers are the theater goers in this country. We spent so much time in the rehearsal room laughing so hard and, and enjoying each other's ridiculousness. You know, in that room we have, we have literally wept with laughter. I say, let's go to the party, Sydney. One of the things we discussed early in the process was that Durang's writing and Chekhov's writing are similar. Mm -hmm. uh, our director, Jen Thompson, pointed out that uh, the explorations of these characters and the humanity of the characters is essentially the same. So in a way, you can say that Durang is doing a mashup of Chekhov, but really he's just being Durang, and there's a similarity, there's a parallel. Oh, the reason why actors want to do Chekhov is because he is such a human uh, writer and you can look at his characters that are even in the midst of great suffering. You can laugh at them because you see yourself in them. I can't just sleep with one old broad all the time. I, I told them when they went to New York to cast, I said, I just want a really hot boy toy. And they brought me back. He was amazing when he walked into rehearsal the first day. I was like, okay. Why is that young man naked in the pond? He's naked. Spike is, um, not the brightest bulb. Who told you that? But he's he's uh, got a uh, bodily awareness and like a, I use the word in rehearsal, a kinesthetic sort of awareness that I think um, he's really smart that way. My role, I would say, is a commentary on our youth culture at the moment and how kind of um, obsessed we are with with uh, social media and how disconnected we are from maybe the classics and the, the world. Uh, that it was, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. You know, yeah, so Nina in, in both is, I believe, the, the symbol of hope and youth and aspiration. I'm Nina! God damn it! Jen is extremely talented and precise. She has an excellent eye. She has great taste, and her comic chops are second to none. One of the gifts she gave me wasn't even for me, it was for everybody else. She kept saying over and over, you guys gotta remember, this is a freaking movie, movie star. star and she's your sister. He wrote it for Sigourney Weaver, who, you know, was a lifelong friend. Um, and the whole, the joke with that is that, you know, Sigourney Weaver became incredibly famous and incredibly wealthy for the movies she did for <laughs> the alien films, you know. Um, and so, you know, Masha's became incredibly famous for her sexy killer movies. <laughs> when you have your epic moment, you talk about Old Yeller, and Old you, Yeller. you go you go like Old this. You shoot it like a gang member. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura was here eight years ago <coughs> in um, Living Out. She played one of the maids in Living Out. And she also uh, not only has the distinction of playing 13 different char characters on Long Earth, but this is the first time this role is being played by a Latina. It's normally played by an African American. I'll just say thanks for coming then. And remember, <laughs> January 27th, we'll be back to talk about Apagitura, which is a wonderful new <laughs> play as well. So join us then. Thank you.